Whenever I have a friend going through a terrible time, I always think about this book and I pull out this blessing. If you don't mind, I'll read it to you. It's called A Blessing for the Brokenhearted. Let us agree for now that we will not say the breaking makes us stronger or that it is better to have this pain than have done without this love. Let us promise we will not tell ourselves time will heal the wound when every day our waking opens it anew. Perhaps for now, it can be enough to simply marvel at the mystery of how a heart so broken can go on beating, as if it were made for precisely this, as if it knows the only cure for love is more of it, as if it sees the heart's sole remedy for breaking is to love still, as if it trusts that its own persistent pulse is the rhythm of a blessing we cannot begin to fathom but will save us nonetheless. Oh, isn't that so good? This is Jan Richardson's The Cure for Sorrow, and it's a book of blessings. Reverend Jan Richardson wrote this book with the loss of her husband. And even though it might seem very counterintuitive in a very hashtag blessed world to reach for blessing in a time of sorrow, it is the language we need. It is the work of hope at a time where we're not sure what that means anymore. So may it offer you words of love and companionship in the time when you need it most. I hope you'll come find me online at Kate Bowler if you want discussion questions or at Kate C. Bowler at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram if you want to join in the discussion. Mm -hmm.